Hello, can you add 27 plus 19 plus 34 plus 62 in your head? Keep watching to find out how. Hi, I'm Jason with MathTutorDVD.com and today we're going to continue building our mental math skills and we're going to work on two-column addition. Two-column addition or addition in general is taught in school uh, causes you to, to learn how to add numbers basically backwards. So here's 76 plus 89 for instance. And the way we're taught to do this in school is to start in the right hand column. So in this case 9 plus 6 is 15, but in order to write the 15 down we don't, we don't write it normally. We put the 5 here and then we carry a 1 and then we add everything in this column and we get the final answer. And that actually works pretty good for paper, but it's really difficult to, to do this kind of thing in your mind. Starting in the right hand column and then carrying digits, it's just hard to keep track of everything. So mental addition, even for a two number problem like this, is just kind of difficult. So what we're going to do is throw that in the wastebasket and learn to do mental addition the more rapid way. And you'll find that as we start doing it, you'll be able to keep the numbers in your head and with some practice you'll be able to add some pretty impressive numbers together. So let's just dig into it with an example. What we're going to do first is talk about the example. Uh, let's talk about something fairly easy. Let's say 15 plus 34. Now again, most times when you would do this in your head, uh, you would start in the right hand column and you would add this and you would get 9 and then you would go to the left hand column. But we're not going to go right to left. When we do addition problems in Mental Math Secrets, we're going to start in the left hand column and move to the right. And we're not going to be carrying any numbers either and so it's going to be easier to juggle it in your head. And this makes sense actually because when you think about the way this number is put together, the 15, when you really think about what it is, 15, let me just write a little note here, is really 10 plus 5. And that's because the 1 here is, is in the tens digit, so it's worth the value of 10. And the 5 is in the what we call the ones digit, so it's worth a value of 5. Now the number 34 is worth 30 plus 4 because the 3 is in the tens digit, so this digit's worth 30 and this digit is worth 4. Now we already know these things, but we kind of don't use them every day, so we sort of can kind of forget that. Now it's important because the way we're going to do this addition is we're going to start at the top number, whichever one you put on top, and we're going to start in the left hand column. So this digit is, don't think of it as a 1, think of it as being worth 10 because it's, it's right here in the tens digit. So we're going to start mentally with the number 10 right with this digit we're not even looking at the 5 so we have 10 plus this 3 which is worth 30 so 10 plus 30 gives us 40 so mentally in our head the first number we say is 10 because that's where we started up here the second number we say mentally is 40 because we've added 3 30 to it from down here so we say 10 40 and then we move up to the next column up at the top. Now this is worth 5. So 40 plus 5 we say mentally is 45. That's up here. And then finally we go down this direction. After 45 we're adding this many more. We're going to get a grand total of 49. And this is the final answer. So we're going to write 49 as our final answer. Now it's important that when you're doing mental math not to use the word plus in your head. And so you don't want to say things like 10 plus 30 is 40 and 40 plus 5 is 45 because when you start saying the word plus too many times and start putting too many words in your mind your brain gets confused you really need to get in the habit of training your mind to keep it, keep it simple so the way we're going to do this for all these future problems is we're going to start here and we're going to say 10 40 45 49 49 is the answer when you get used to doing it that way it will be much faster Okay, so here we have our next problem. And so again, let's start in the left-hand column with the topmost number. This is of worth a value of 30. So as we move down, we're going to do our mental math as we go. We're not going to write the numbers out. That was just to show you um, the process. So here we're starting with this digit. This is worth 30. So here we go. 30, 50, 54, 55, 59. The answer is 59. And 
we just go left to right like that. And that makes more sense because when we start in this column, these are the numbers that actually matter most because they're in the leftmost column. They're worth more than these numbers here. So when we start doing it this way, we start adding the numbers that matter most first. So let's do that again. 30, 50, 54, 59. That's correct. Now let's say we have 38 plus 53. And let's add these guys together. Starting up here, we have 30, 80, 88, 91, 91. Okay, for our next problem, we have 44 plus 67. And notice in this problem that if you started in the right-hand column, you would have to carry a number, and it would just be difficult to keep track of. But let's start up here in the upper left, like we've been doing, starting with this digit 4, which is worth 40. So here we go, 40. 100 and notice these two are complements 4 and 6 you should recognize as complements it's going that's going to help you rapidly realize that this is worth 4 plus 6 being 10 but it's in this column so it's really 100 so 40 100 104 111 so 111 now here we get into our first three number uh, addition problem where we have two digits in every number but the process is exactly the same we start in this column over here with this value which is 2 but it's worth 20 so here we go 20 40 70 73 77 78 the answer is 78 so doing it a little bit faster 20 40 70 73 77 78 Okay, here's our next problem. We have 37 plus 44 plus 26. Starting in the topmost number, leftmost column, this is 3 worth a value of 30. Here we go. 30, 70, 90, 97, and we get to 97 here, but we notice that this right here, these two together are 10. So when we get to 97, we can sort of lump these together and say 107. And this is where the power of complements comes in handy because we recognize the 6 and the 4 are going to immediately be 10. And we don't really have to add anything. We just know that. So let's go a little bit faster. 30, 70, 90, 97, 107. Okay, here's our next problem. We have 67 plus 27 plus 56. We're going to do it the same way. Start at the top, leftmost digit. This is the number 6 worth a value of 60. So let's go down here. 60, 80, 130, 138, 145, 151. So that's 151. Let's go a little bit faster, starting up here. 60, 80, 130, 138, 145, 151. Okay, here's our final problem. This is the problem we actually opened up the section with. We have four numbers added together. They're each two digits. We'll start at the top. Here's number two with the value of 20. Let's go down. 20, 30, 60, 120, 127, 136, 140, 142. So the answer is 142. Let's go and do it the same way, a little bit faster. 20, 30, 60, 120, 127, 136, 140, 142. And that's the answer. So that's how you do two-column addition in general. You can add as many numbers together as you want. That way, really, you're going to only be limited by your practice. If you practice this, you can grab a piece of paper, write down some numbers, practice adding it together this way. I promise once you get used to doing it, you'll find that it's much, much faster. And uh, you'll consistently get faster, and you'll be able to do it more and more digits mentally because it's really just going to be limited by how comfortable you are with the process. I'm Jason with MathTutorDVD.com. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Uh, keep practicing your skills to build your mental math abilities, and you'll be able to wow your friends and do better on tests and exams with your newfound math skills.